Hi, everybody. So um, in every speech, I always apologize for, for my accent um, uh, because I, I, I learned my English in watching Family Guy, so <laughs> sorry. <laughs> so um, what is all about a uh, kid from Tijuana hacking in drones? So in what I mean drones, I mean, I mean uh, commercial drones, civilian drones, not the military ones. So please, erase that image from your brain. So what I mean with my drones is it can be you know, a foamy, a small aircraft. It can also come as a multi-copter uh, or helicopter. Uh, it can also come as a rover or anything that is capable to move around, like even a submarine, and is able to, to take decision by itself. It can be considered as a, as a drone. Um, who do they work? So basically, uh, they, need, they have a brain that allows them to, to know their orientation to respect to the ground and GPS to know their position. And with this, they can, you know, move around. And uh, by the way, this is the last design that I made myself. And, um, and this is the way you can program it. With the computer, you can upload waypoints and you can fly around. And here's another picture of a more complex mission that this is used for uh, mapping. And um, uh, what they're used for. So it can be used for firefighting. Uh, it can be, it can be used for, for rescue. This is my favorite one. If somebody's drowning, you can just send a drone and drop a lifesaver. And um, pizza delivery, uh, <laughs> and this uh, actually uh, random and John from from Berkeley is part of the company. They were in Napa Valley and they're testing a new uh, technology. It's an infrared camera that basically allows them to see how healthy the the, the grapes are uh, based on the shades of, of the of the red in the photographs. So uh, in a, in every every culture, a farmer is going to be able to wake up every morning, press a button. The drone is going to fly over and it's going to tell the farmer exactly where the problems are before they get bad. And actually, um, uh, you know, the otherwise, you know, the farmer will have to, you know, spray everything with poison just in case it might be a problem. So it's better healthy food for everyone. And actually, we can, you could say that we make wine, not war. <laughs> so um, to. To, to tell you about the, the company, uh, how it started is, is very related to my childhood. So since I have a memory, I love aircraft. Actually, I wanted to be a pilot. And electronics, Legos, uh, computers, you know, I used to fix the computer for my family and friends. So um, then time later in 2007, the Nintendo Wii and the iPhone were re released. And both they have this tiny accelerometer that you can see in the picture over there next to the coin. Uh, you know, they change everything. And because they have a multi-billion dollar companies, uh, I mean markets, they're able to drive their prices down. So they allowed makers like me to have access to this technology and start doing, you know, crazy stuff. So there is a uh, photograph of my autopilot and the iPhone, so they are compared. Basically, you can grab an iPhone, put it in an airplane, and it's, it can become a drone with a phone number. Uh, <laughs> And here is, uh, you know, this platform is Arduino, and this is the one that allowed me to play around. And actually, I have my Nintendo Wii to be able to, to have access to the accelerated data because it was cheap. And at that time, you know, Santa Claus came, and, uh, and he gave me a helicopter, a, air, a remote control helicopter, which uh, I, I think it took me like a microseconds to, you know, fuse everything, uh, you know, Arduino, the accelerometer, and um, Ta-da, this is the first Mexican drone. <laughs> and, uh, and why not? It's the combination of all my, you know, all my uh, hobbies, in which I love a lot. So uh, obviously, it didn't work. It had to be Mexican. But I, I was determined to, to change that. Uh, I went into the rabbit hole. So I, uh, I was really into the mission to make it work. So I was Googling around, and I found this forum, DIY Drones. And I started posting all my, you know, my information over there. I met a lot of friends and stuff like that. And um, eventually, this guy, actually, he's Chris Anderson, other, the other Chris Anderson. Uh, and he's the editor-in-chief of the, Ma the Wire magazine. So basically, um, he sent me an email and said, hey, this is so cool. I'm doing the same with Legos for my kids. Uh, what do you need to continue? So basically, um, he wrote me off a, a check, um, $500 check, and just mailed it to my home. And I used this money wisely to continue with, m with my development. So this is the photograph of my first drone that I totally destroyed the first day. So I have to jump to something slower. So here is a closer picture of the mess that I was doing in my house, um, in actually in my room. And here is a wider picture of the aircraft. And this one took me two years to make it work. And actually, I won a, a robotic competition with this one. 
then I, I wanted to, to get serious into the development of my products because people were asking for it. And, and they were like, hey, Jordi, can you build me one? Can you build me one? So uh, uh, I didn't have, ob obviously, the money to, to have a manufacturing facility in, in my garage. So and the most difficult part is I need a special oven to be able to cook the electronics. And they were between $5,000 to $20,000. So obviously, I didn't have the money, and Chris won't send me that much. So, <laughs> so I went to Target, and I bought a, a little toaster oven, and I hacked it. And actually, here is a picture of me in the garage hacking the toaster oven. And it, and it worked. Well, actually, not the first run, <laughs> but I eventually I was able to make it work. Uh, so then I need a web page to sell you know, my stuff. I was able to, to assemble 40 boards, which I sold the same day, and I feel rather like we have a business. So uh, I wanted you to see this picture, how I, you know, the evolution in the term of three years. So I was in my bedroom, you know, making USPS labels to be able to ship around, and then I was able to, to, to move to a bigger garage, and, I, and now I have a plastic leather chair that I was <laughs> able to for. And then, uh, you know, a better uh, industrial facility, and you know, the, I don't even have money to, to, to buy the bands of the air conditioning, so it was fine. <laughs> it's fiberglass, you know. <laughs> and then I was able, finally, to for a pick-and-place machine that allowed me to, you know, boost my production by six times. You know, the magic about, you know, machines making machines is, you know, they don't go to the bathroom, they don't make mistakes, they, they don't need Facebook. So I was, you know, <laughs> I was able to increase my, my quality. And, and then I decided to open Tijuana because, you know, there is a bunch of engineers that work in Samsung, Sony, and these big Japanese companies, so they are very capable to make very good manufacturing in Tijuana. So here is the, the picture of the, the, the factory in TJ, and then, you know, a production line. Um, finally, I have one of production line. And this is the new building here in um, San Diego. This is 30,000 square feet. So now we're going to be able to move her more space for all the engineers here in San Diego. And um, so what is the, the, the revolution here? So the revolution here is, you know, uh, a kid from Tijuana uh, was able to make the world largest uh, open source drone company in the world by hacking a toaster oven. And, uh, and you know, um, I wanted to prove and highlight the cooperation mex in between Mexico and United States is possible, in this case, Tijuana and San Diego, to be able to be more competitive and, and you know, uh, be able to compete with the mighty China and, and keep all the manufacturing here and in, in America and the innovation without outsourcing everything. So I'm proud to say that, you know, I'm Jordi Munoz, I'm from Tijuana, and I make jobs. Thank you very much. <laughs>